Barcelona's financial mess exposed. Why Blaugrana are still paying Inter Miami stars Lionel Messi, Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets, explained. Messi left Catalonia way back in the summer of 2021, embarking on a brief stint at Paris Saint-Germain before eventually finding himself stateside two years later. Former teammates Alba and Busquets joined him that same summer, putting an end to their illustrious careers at Camp Nou. However, Sport have now revealed that all three are still receiving payments from Barcelona in a shocking new update on the club's financial mess. The reason for these continued payments owes to Barca's delayed salary payment structure, made in attempts to ease their financial burdens following the COVID-19 pandemic. The Catalan club put off paying the likes of Messi, Alba and Busquets during those difficult seasons, meaning they all remain on the club's salary bill as they wait to be reimbursed. Midfielder Frankie de Jong, who is still at the club, is another player affected. Outstanding payments to de Jong and the Inter-Miami trio leave Barca's finances in tatters. The club's salary limit, according to the report, stands at 204 million, with recent information from UEFA suggesting Barca continue to exceed it by 300 million. Their wage bill of 505 million is the second highest throughout Europe. Behind only PSG, the Catalan club are currently awaiting payment from German fund Libero Football Finance for the 49% purchase of Barca Studios. Even with that investment, and provided this year's budget is not exceeded, Barcelona can still only sign players on a one-in-one-out basis, writes Sport. That ratio is even worse at present. The lack of Barca Studios' investment and outstanding payments to Messi and Co. mean the club are currently on a 1.2 rule. This requires Barca to raise double what they pay on salary and transfer fees. Such restrictions could see a fire sale of key stars in the summer, with de Jong among the names to, again, be linked to a move elsewhere.